YouTube. Yo, how's it going? Uh, so in this tutorial, is gonna be messing around with some Photoshop. And uh, before we start, just want to say, go check out my blog and my new clothing line. I'm trying to start. Links in the description. Go support. Have fun. Do whatever. So to start off, uh, this picture was taken in Yosemite at like the sort of the second base of Half Dome, looking onto the cables, and it was pretty intense. I suggest doing it to anybody. So now what we have to do is I was just thinking and like. You don't really ha need to have a mission when you're starting to alter a photo if you're just starting off. Just go and have fun with it and just mess around because that's how you learn a lot of the basics. And so what we're going to do to start off, we're going to make a copy of this background. So we're going to take it down and we're going to bring it down to the new layer. So now we have a copy and first thing we're going to do is adjust these levels. So go image, adjustment, levels. And so y you can see all these uh, flat lines by the uh, darks and the whites. And so what we need to do is we need to bring these levels over to the butt to the base of the little hill. I was always taught to bring to the base of the little hill, bring out the colors a little bit more, and it just works out a little bit better. And as you can see, this lightened it up a whole lot. But what we want to do is bring out some of the darks again. So we're going to take these midtones and we try this way. Nope, doesn't work. We want to try just just to touch this way. I like right around 0.66, and so that that works out well. So now we click OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to mess around with some of these uh, la uh, layer options. So make a new layer, and then we're going to fill this one with, let's fill it with 50% gray. And say, so, okay. Now you're like, oh, college, t what's wrong? You just messed it up. No, you didn't. And you go dissolve. And so this is where you can start messing around, just getting some cool. And so now I'm just scrolling through, seeing some multiply, color burn, linear burn, just going through. And now we go down to overlay, and you can see overlay doesn't really, it doesn't do anything. I can turn it on and off, and it doesn't do anything. So a 50% gray overlay does nothing. But then we go down to the bottom for like color, saturation, and hue, and it kind of gives you like an Ansel Adams look. So I bet if we added just a, a little sharpness, a little more contrast, we get a really cool Ansel Adams look. And ironically, he did Yosemite too, so that's pretty cool. But right now we're going to mess around with overlay. So just head to overlay, and then take out your brush. And then make sure it's black. Oops. Make sure it's black. And then make sure your hardness is down so it blends in well. But what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and make sure opacity is way down. Mine's right around 9% right now. And just go over these lighter lighter spots that you want to darken up a little bit. And just go and just go over them. And it doesn't really look like we're doing much because um, because there we're making such subtle changes, but really. We're making some changes. Maybe I'll turn the opacity up just a little bit. You can see here, we're just going over them. And so then you're like, did we do anything? And then we turn this layer on and off. Yeah, we ended up we ended up adding some darkness and then uh, uh, just making everything uh, come together a little bit more. So it's merge these layers. So select the two, hold shift, and then click the other one. Or you can con uh, hold control and click the other one. And you can right click merge layers or you can go layer, merge layers, or hotkey, control E. So we're just going to merge those two, and then the last thing we're going to do is mess around with these curves a little bit. So go image, curves, and so our, the technique, we're, we're going to be adding contrast right now, and so we want to, the blacks are down here and the whites are up here, and as you can see, the color of whites like goes down, there's not too many whites, but we're going to select the blacks, bring those guys down just a little bit, then select the whites, bring those guys up just a little bit, and you can already see how much like how much dramatically the contrast has changed. So this is like a dramatic photo now, as opposed to just not dramatic. <laughs> and so let's check it out after. Before you see everything just blends together. You can hardly, I mean, you can't stand this photo after you changed it. So yeah, thanks. So thanks for looking. Uh, just having fun with this. So go check out my blog and clothing line. Links in the description. And go have fun. Email me with any questions you have, or if you would like this file. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.